What's a going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Medieval Conquest. I'm Daily Fix for playing as William Wallace and look at this. Look at this. We have been given a town. Yes, I only requested it after the siege. Wasn't able to speak to anyone and uh, we are going to accept the honor. Now this brings us to a serious matter. I think we might have destroyed the Irish Empire. Now there are still some lords around and I am not sure if we can look at this. It's the Kingdom of Ireland. And uh, let's see. They occupy nowhere so they have nothing and its vessels are there's only one faithful vessel. So that's two remaining. And, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I wonder how long it will take him to uh, abandon the cause of his king. Uh, we'll have to destroy their armies if they are still having them. Uh, but, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely do so. Let's let's continue onwards. Yes, look at that! <laughs> We've, we have eliminated the Kingdom of Ireland. Yes. Oh man, I, I'm loving it. Really loving it. Um, don't know if, if that means all the vessels are gone as well. Uh, but hey, it's cool, right? I'm kind of wondering on, look at this, the garrison conditions are not that well. Uh, manage the garrison. Uh, I don't want to take control actually. Like I said to you previously, but it does appear that no one is helping the garrison now we are not at war with anyone currently so maybe we'll have to wait it out let's take a look at the castle itself uh, the constable is here the chamberlain is here uh, constable how goes the war we are not at war with anyone so <laughs> that's that's awesome um, I want to release a prisoner. No, you're dismissed. Give me a report. Come back later. Chamberlain, something here changed. Report of financial affairs. I did move all the, you know, the taxes is up. We have an income of 7,738. We're losing due to tax inefficiency. 4% overall sums up to... Okay, so we are making almost 3k. I can live with that. I really can live with that. Uh, we currently have um, Scottish over it, so do Scottish accent because we are Scottish and I want to keep it like that. Inspector Treasury, yeah, look at this, that's not much. So anything else, let's support the of Dengu. Uh, the property of the town of Den is unbearable, the population is indifferent with you. The tax rate is normal, the troop wages are zero, cost is zero, uh, we are expecting Okay, so two and a half thousand. How is this doing? I set everything to normal. Uh, indifferent to you, tax rates normal, troop wages in, is this. So we are losing 177. Inverse. Overall sum up. Okay, so it's not that bad. We are still making, making money. Um... Wish to change the recruitment laws for the nobility. I, I don't want to temper with this right away. So let's get the heck out of here. Let's go to the tavern. There's a regular. There's a bonus crest. Um, could you help me for my men please? Now I don't know what this is. But any order sir. Make a preparation. We'll move it done. I think that this might be some leftover NPCs. But I, I don't know. Tavern, Raven, um, like you're going to drink alone. Let's drink with Valhalla. How much do you want to bat? Wait, this is batting? Sure. Yeah, another one. You lost 10. Oh, he won drinking. Look, now this is what, we're, what I was talking about. You can invest into a regional manor. Though I don't have the finances to do so just yet. Um, any new nobleman I can get into my castle? No, not really. So I, I think it's time for us to see if we can 
find find a tournament because we we need some we need some tournament. Uh huh. No. Oh, Genova. No. 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 Uh. So so bloody far away. Now we could use this somewhat to our advantage. I I feel that we might have too many guys for a peacetime. So we're going back to our to our castle, and we're going to drop I don't know about a hundred guys there, just so this one is more secure. Because at the moment, it's very likely we are going to war with the principal of Wales. How many of their vessels do they still have? Uh, Principal of Wales. Wow. They still got a ton. And I'm sure not all of them are... Are very... Look, he's very cooperative to me. So we could persuade some of these guys. Because they have not had a... Um, a fee for so long. There is nothing that is... Keeping them inside of this faction for now. But they're still members and that is what makes them very strong. They still have an army. And eventually they probably will be well, trying to assault us. We still have, okay, 219. Wait, what? Um, no, wait, 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 wait. Reports. Weekly budget. We're making a nice amount of money, so resume traveling. Let's go in here. Continue. Manage the garrison. Inspect the garrison. Uh, I still need to sell these guys. I haven't done so. Because this, this is going to be a nice amount of money. I will do so if I find a, um, you know, a, a ransom broker nearby. Now... Uh, Let's give, uh, let's keep some spear guys, some crossbows, some horses. This is too many spear guys. Some axes, even more spear guys. Um, Axemen, please. Uh, knights can still upgrade. I don't want to give any troops that are still able to upgrade to my garrison. Just. Because I, I still want to have fights and, and feel like I'm actually doing something here, you know? How many Scottish Highlanders do we actually have? We got five, we got six. I believe we need seven. Uh, these guys could be leveling up. So let, let's drop a few of the... Is that Bandit? Oh, uh, well, I'm going to release you, my friend. Like I said, I don't want to have step bandits and, and stuff around me. We are nobility. We do not use these kind of characters. That would be against the noble law. At least I hope. Yeah, otherwise it doesn't really make sense what I'm saying right now. Uh, noble. Holding archer. Upgrade these guys. Conscript into footmen. Footmen into infantrymen because we're really lacking some some decent infantrymen We are getting a ton a ton of crossbow a ton of archers and even though I like them they are Not really doing what I'm hoping they would do during sieges. They all start with with weapons on hold and I, I can somewhat understand why that is and yeah, look at that. We, we, we got a nice amount of guys we still can level up. So this, this gives me the feeling that we're actually going to fight for something rather than nothing. Morale is kind of high. Abraham! Abraham, my friend. I will not give you to the garrison, of course. Uh, let's go back. Uh, let's leave. Uh, Abraham. Um, let's talk about your skills. Now, you got 12 in strength. And looking at my... Claymore shield, the base strength is going to be strength. Well, I say agility to 9 to get riding to 3. Uh, we have still a lot to do. Um, now, Iden has requested that we remove his side, but it is kind of a good weapon. And he has been killing quite, quite a bit with it, though. 
we should invest a bit more into their weapon as well. But for now, let's go for agility. One more point. Let's go. Let's see what else did he want to have. Throwing axes. So we need to have throwing in our skill. Let's get this two-handed weapon up. Let's see what kind of equipment do you have. Sword, military, side. You got the sword. You got the lance. Now the lance is not on this list. It's claymore, shield, mace, throwing axe. Now I got a mace here that I'm absolutely hating. I really, I'm, I'm not liking this one. I'm not sure why. Speed rating is, is, is faster than the military side, but it feels incredibly slow. So I don't like that. We'll keep it for now because he is unable to equip it, but eventually we'll change it now. We'll also change the helmet because it's incredibly damaged. Yes. And we also look at this money. We are not doing well on the monies. So, that being done, let's talk to this guy here. We meet again. Yes, I've managed to get him to like uh, minus 11. <laughs> oh my god, I heard Lord O'Brien faithfully slaughtered your man like sheep, but you are alive! Such a disappointment. That's actually... <laughs> you have a task for me? No. Oh. Uh, I don't have a new task for you. We are not at war. Let's go visit Glasgow. I'm wondering how long it will take us to actually get into a war again. It shouldn't be taking us too long. But still, we need a way of making money. I have no clue. Uh, I could sit around, you know, for a couple of weeks. Seeing if there is a way for us to, you know, get some money. But maybe we should go around the world. Go around the world, see if we can find there's some places where there is a tournament. Maybe somewhere in, in, in England, maybe in Paris, because the nearest one was in um, Gradania. And what was the other one again? Uh, probably around here somewhere. We could ask. We could ask. May wait, did our, did our... We're now Duke. So, Baron, Count, we're now Duke. We're, we're faithful, the king loves us. I do like that. Hello, how are you? Who are you? Um, you are the wife. Okay, let, let's not mess around and cause a divorce. Um, you have any tasks for me? No. I would like to start assemble the army here. No. I have a new task for you. No, let's not do so. Um... Yeah, you don't have... Yeah, I, I'm sorry, sir. You lost a lot, but... I reckon we did good. So... You're the wife of Duke someone that I hardly know. I don't know what is going on with that. There appears to be... All of our... Countries, wives have been sended to... Um, uh, best to show you. No, go away. Has been sended to Hungary. Of Hungary, um, here, somewhere around here. So, oh no, this is not Hungary. Where is Hungary? No. Yeah, this. Oh, it, th there's. Oh, this is annoying. Look at that. They're the same color. The same color of green. Maybe we should visit this place and and see what we can do. Also, what's up here? There's a riot going on in Dublin. Dublin. Hey, that's something I can pronounce. That, that's that's short, shortly a miracle. The one thing that I'm kind of scared about is uh, leaving too far out. You know? Um, Elbin, Torn, Granada and Freezing. Elbing, Elbing, Tor. It's probably around here. Elbin. No, Bristol, Chester, Dublin. Oh man, I'm really digging that we finally have this castle. But just, oh man, we need money. We really need money. 
wages for oh look at that yeah well, we finally have some wages here in the capital um, hopefully it will not fall prey to anything okay let you know what just to level up our troops let's let's start some attacking some bandit pilots and uh, uh, we'll consider this episode to what can we do uh, we're out oh this is not good um, but what we what we can do what is a way for you to make money in this mod apart from doing tournaments of course because uh, we all can do tournaments and I absolutely like the tournaments because it's one on one um, one thing though let's get to gamma up so at least you know what to do and, and, and still yes we're still playing at almost 60% difficulty rating I kind of like the fact that we are still doing that so these are pirates right so the infantry is standing there cavalry go here please are there some guys not mounted no most of them are oh yeah they're definitely pirates throwing the bloody javelins all over the place Cavalry, go. Infantry. Yeah, bloody hell. Go, everybody. Everybody go. Come on. There's so many more we need to kill in order not to lose all of our troops here. Okay, damage the few, that's okay as well. Okay, one more down. Wow, you were blocking with a something. I, I couldn't make out what it was though. We have to still be careful. Look at them throwing the... No! Oh, I just barely, barely was able to get my shield up. This is bad. I don't have any more shields. Bastard. Okay, so it looks like all of them are almost out. Man, oh my poor mount. My poor, poor mount. We'll have to be careful though. Uh, man at arms, brave guy, but he will probably go out. Okay. Let's not try to get in the way of our our cavalry they seem to be doing a better job at fighting than I am I saw that bastard oh man how dare they how dare they but anyway uh, what what are you doing to uh, make a ton of money because is straight routes really the way to go again uh, because of that are then please let me know in the comment section what route you are using uh, yeah let, let's hire these guys because they're kind of cheap now and they don't cost you money capture these men upgrading will do later because we just don't have that type of money uh, let's uh, receive as much as of this as we can uh, equip everybody uh, return so, how many are still able to fight? There's still a bunch ready to fight. How's my inventory going? Not too well. Oh, uh, this is just too low. Uh, return. Yes. Inventory. This is absolute shit. We don't do that. No, I'm a lord, you see. I'm a lord. My god, everything we picked up was really not good. <laughs> oh boy, let's attack these guys. Oh, I look at that. Forest bandits. Forest bandits. Charge the enemy. Uh, mainly I'm doing this to make sure my faithful companions are getting some equipment. Because soon, uh, most likely next episode... One of my companions that 
uh, is already in my party because I am unable to recruit more NPCs at the moment. Uh, but he will be joining our ranks because he has been so incredibly, well, active on Facebook. Yeah, it's the first time, right? Uh, he's been coming uh, daily and daily been talking to me. And uh, I feel somewhat ashamed that I didn't do this sooner. Because I started talking to him around the same time that I um, got to know Matt B. Also now known as Marco Polo in this series. So, they're from this end, right? Okay, anyways. Oh, where's that bloody flag? Oh, there it is. It just popped up there, did you see? I always have that shit. They're not listening again, are they? No. Are they doing now? Yes, they are. Okay. So, they're over there. And I say we should definitely just throw in our cavalry. Let's take a quick look. That's just a fine line. I think they might all be archers. Oh yeah. <laughs> Question answered. They are archers. Damn. Uh, infantry. Go there. Go there. Charge. As soon as the cavalry has run past my enormous blob of infantry. This is the wrong button. That is a Q. Charge. Ah, they're all archers. Well, annoying at first, but may not be such a good thing for them. Because they are lacking good weapons. Maybe we should use this weapon more often though. Just so we can improve our proficiency. I think the major issue that I'm having right now is the proficiency I'm having with this maze. Come on. Yeah, definitely the proficiency. Look at this thing. This thing should actually be a lot faster than my two-handed, but I never use it. Anyway, victory. Yeah, it's so heroic, right? Uh, 31 items. Uh... Yeah, let's receive everything, equip everything, and, and do this again. Wow, that's actually not good at all. Uh, return. Look at that, Anthony SA. Congratulations, my friend, you've leveled up. I did give him the crossbow. Just to see how well it is going, crossbow 95. So keep that in mind, please. If it goes up, it's absolutely fantastic. If it doesn't, then... I'm not sure what to do with it. Well, anyway, Anthony is a look at uh, 5 in pathfinding, check. Agility 9, wanting athletics 2, yes, 3. Horse archery and riding. So, riding definitely might be something to consider right now. And then we're just going to pop his strength. So, do riding. Uh, we'll do the rest later. Mm, she is using still the two-handed. Although, let's do his crossbow. One-handed, there you go. Now, I'm kind of wondering about my own character. Let's go back. Let's see. So, my one-handed is almost half of that, of the two-handed weapon. Now, that probably is the reason I'm having difficulties. So strength is almost up there. We are close at leveling up. Not quite there yet. Let's go back to Sterling. And you'll know. Next episode. Um, it's, it's probably going to be sieges. So maybe feasts. Maybe feasts. Who knows, right? Uh, marketplace sell automatically if that's possible. No, it isn't. Uh, merchant. Oh, wow. Am, am I out of food? Ooh. I'm kind of close at being out of food.
so much stuff. Really a lot of stuff. And not getting that much in return. We even need to pay this man money. The thing is, there's nothing for us to raid. Uh, I'm always checking out the tavern, see if there is a, well, a ransom broker, so I can do that off camera for you. And uh, it does appear I will be doing all that between episodes. Now, next episode, it's most likely going to be tournaments. What I'm looking forward to is, is ways of making money. Um, how to proceed from now? Which faction should we go to war with? My personal opinion is leaning very much against the Celtic Kingdom. Mainly because they are at war with England. And I don't want England to have the entirety of this castle, of this island as well. If we can get this island as well, we might stand a chance. Now, afterwards the next opponent is most likely going to be Britain. Because it does appear the English are taking a lot. But maybe England just to get these, this island, island completely. Wales at the moment because of all those vassals is a problem. We might even lose this castle in the near future. I hope not but it could be a possibility. Uh, this would be nice to get Britain. England, Britain, it's just divide and conquer. So, uh, for episode 34, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, I'm really, really looking forward to your, uh, your feedback, your ideas on how to make money and, and all that good stuff. Uh, our goal, personally, for this series, is taking England and Ireland. So it could be still a long one. It's, it's a difficult one. And I'm not playing at 20% difficulty. Okay, I'm playing at almost 60. So it's a bit more difficult. And we need to see how things will develop. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you next time. Bye.